Jaron Williams and the decent statistical performance Mm -hmm. and the ability to protect the ball. So to me, this has to be coming from two different places. So as you pointed out, to win in business, to win in sports, to win in almost anything in life, you have to take calculated risk. You don't take stupid risks and chances. You take calculated risk or there are small gains to be had and those typically won't result in winning big, whether mm-hmm. that's in the stock market, in business, in sports, et cetera. You got to take a three-point shot. Is that your best percentage shot all the time? Typically, no. But there are reasons that you have talent on the floor and shooters on the floor and spacing. And when they've got their shot, you got to take it. Right. On and on wide and on open and from the short corner, then, you know, let it go. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. And for Taron Williams, not taking those shots downfield, I don't know if that's because he's a young quarterback and he just can't pull the trigger on that throw, or does that come from a head coach who's not necessarily doesn't come across as a conservative coach, although most coaches are conservative by nature, but being a defensive-minded coach, knowing that that's his, his fallback is to lean on a defense that should carry you home to eight or nine wins, then let's protect the football. Yeah, but I mean, when you got guys running butt naked wide open, I mean, they're they're high school open. They're like they're good high school against the the bad t- team in town open. I mean, again, Jeff Thomas on that uh, first drive against Florida. Yeah, I know there was a sack on that play, but he spun his defender around his butt naked wide open. This game, he's up the seam or he's up the left side, and Jaron came off of that read quickly. And I'm like, dude, throw the ball, fit it in there. And like you have you have the arm to do it. You know, like give them a chance to make a play. There's another flag route, wide open, wide open. Brian Hightower was going uh, to the on the flag, didn't throw him the ball. Look, so you got to cut that ball loose, and you got to stop being scared of turning the ball over. You know what I mean? Turnovers are going to happen. Interceptions are going to happen. Why? Because you play quarterback. So you can't sit here and say, okay, well, I went the whole season and threw no interceptions. I mean, that is a stat to be lauded and applauded, but. If I'm only throwing 15 yards and in, and and you and on top of that, Jaron, look, I I like Jaron. Jaron's doing a very good job. There's room for growth. Jaron has thrown interceptable passes that have not been picked off. I kept talking last year about the game being a half step too fast for him. He's you know he's looking one way and then he sees a linebacker from the other color flash, so he double pumped and everything. He's throwing those balls now, and there have been guys who've gotten their hands on balls flowing underneath those RPO slants and whatnot and have not picked them off. But there have been five, six, seven balls in four games that could have been intercepted. So look, man, like honestly, if you remember when Johnny Manziel was in college and everybody talked about if he ran – Oh, like a play where he ran the ball and he got smacked. He's like, okay, I'm I'm in the game. I'm good. I feel good. For Jaron Williams, I think he needs to throw an interception. Honestly. Throw it, get it out of the way. Figure out that it's okay to make a mistake as long as you're taking a chance. I mean, like, not every single time, but you'll be all right. Because what's gonna happen? You're gonna come off the sideline again for the next offensive play. They're not gonna take you out, they're not gonna bench you, you know. Obviously, don't be like Malik Rogier in the, the Orange Bowl and throw one directly to a defensive lineman who's four yards in front of you. Don't do something like that. But if he throws one taking a shot, look, it happens. Everybody throws interceptions. Even guys with a great ratio, to make that ratio less than infinity, you have to have one interception to make it an actual tangible number. So interceptions are going to happen. And it's okay. But leaving all these plays on the field, somebody said that leaving a play on the field on offense is as damaging as throwing an interception. I'm not ready to go that far with it, but it is hurtful to the offense to have guys running butt naked wide open and not getting them the ball. Then you're throwing incompletions because on the play to Brian Hightower, where you could have made a throw and made let him make a play in the corner of the end zone. That was a well, no, actually, he worked his way back and he made an amazing catch on an amazing scramble play. But that's like one of the few. It's okay, Jaron. I get it. Everybody gets it. Every quarterback in the Hall of Fame, college football, high school, professional football, NFL Hall of Fame, every single one has thrown an interception. I guarantee you. So throw the ball, please. We talk Miami football each and every week is what we do, and we are getting to the fun part of the season once we clear this next bye week as we dive into Coastal Division play with Virginia Tech, Virginia, and Georgia Tech the next three weeks after that. Miami, of course, with a one loss in ACC play can make amends and they've got the teams that they need to beat right in front of them and will need to find um, some solutions to the offense, though the defense continues to perform pretty well.